Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the 2022 Release Wave 1 features, both for Dynamics 365 customer service and field service. So grab some popcorn, sit right back, and I hope you enjoy this video. There's a whole lot of new features in Dynamics V65 customer service. So let's start with that. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the new Dynamics V65 customer service admin center app that is currently in preview and is scheduled for GA in April of 2022. Now, this is a brand new app that consolidates the admin experience for customer service hub and omni-channel for customer service. So this app is going to make it a lot easier for admins because you can now access all of those omni-channel and customer service hub settings in this one app. So there's nothing really you need to do. You don't have to turn this on because the app is going to automatically be installed in your org. Now, keep in mind that the options that you'll see in the app will, dep will depend on what exactly is provisions in your environment. Then this one, analytics for knowledge article and search terms. So those are two different things. I had to, for the analytics, I had to poke around a little bit to understand what exactly this was because we already have knowledge analytics in Dynamics 365 customer service. So what this is, is a report that is an embedded Power BI report inside of the application. So what I found is that there's now an additional tab when you open that report. And I'm going to show you in a little bit how you can access that report. But what you'll see is that additional tab that's called Article Insights Preview. And that shows key metrics and trends around views, including the top 20 of most viewed articles. You'll also notice uh, KPIs on visitors and feedback ratings. And just like other embedded Power BI reports, you can drill down into the charts to get more details as well. And this feature is in early access. So I'll be showing you that a little bit later in this video as well. And it's currently scheduled to go live also in April of 2022. Now there's also going to be some improvements and enhancements to knowledge article search in Dynamics 365 customer service. And that's the ability for agents to search for articles using terms or phrases. Then the users will see the results of their search if those search term matches with the article's title, the contents, keywords, or attachments. Now, just to be clear, this is not using the Dataverse search, but the Knowledge Search in Customer Service Workspace or Omnichannel, right? So you're going to see that the search results are going to be shown in that side panel, right, that we that we know as the, or used to know as the productivity pane. So that way agents can only view articles that are relevant, right, to the search. And you'll also notice that ag agents will be able to see the article number on that results card. And there's also a section, as you can see, that reads more articles found, which you can expand and then you can see the keywords that were matched, right? You can kind of see that over here. This is that more matches found. I can expand that and then I can see which of the keywords actually match to my search term right over there. 
there's another great feature coming to SLAs and this feature will allow us to configure the calculation of the warning times and failure times of SLA KPIs. Now, if you go to the Microsoft Doc site, it actually says customers can now customize the calculation of the warning time and the failure time of SLA KPIs. This will help customers address specific business needs to determine and use a particular customer service calendar during runtime. So it sounds like we're gonna be able to build our own custom plugins and then dynamically determine the calendar um, the warning and failure time duration that needs to be used to calculate those SLA KPI failures and warning time. So I guess we'll have to wait for some more details until this is generally available, which is again currently set to happen in April of 2022. Now, another feature regarding SLAs will be the ability to configure the actual values the SLA timers display. For example, currently we're showing succeed on the timer, but you could change this, for example, to SLA met. And then lastly, oh, lastly, we're gonna be able to export and import customer service schedules and holiday schedules from one environment to the other. And then this one is a nice one as well. We can now configure the knowledge search control in an app in Now, this is one which is gonna allow us to configure the knowledge search control in an app side pane for other tables besides cases. Now, keep in mind that this can only be done from the new customer service admin center app that I mentioned earlier. So this feature will allow us to configure knowledge search settings for each individual table when that knowledge search side pane for a record of that table is open. Now you have to make sure obviously that that table is enabled for knowledge management as well. So now let's go into the demonstration. So I'm going to go and find that customer service admin center preview. I can just go ahead and search. So here you can see this is that customer service admin center preview app. So let me just go ahead and click on that. And this is it. So you can see there's no area switcher here. We just have these, these different sections here, customer support, agent experience, and operations right over here. So you can kind of click into this right here. You can see the overview, which is allowing me to manage all of these different things, right? Users, queues, etc. Let me just go ahead and click into this. This is where I can manage those users. I can go here to channels and you can see here they're only supported when omnichannel is provisioned, which I did not provision on this instance. So again, really allowing us to go into one place. Let me see here some other things that we have here. I can go look at my overview here, my productivity. Let's see what we have here. My email templates, <clears throat> my agent scripts here. If I go back to customer support, if I go to case settings, I can drill into this. I can kind of take a look at my subject tree here my automatic record creation update rules here as well customer settings again is supported within omnichannel and then let's go here to productivity we already went here so here are some notifications templates etc i can go here to service scheduling i can go to service terms so this is anything related to as you can see slas and entitlements and I can click here on manage and as you can see this is something that we're used to seeing in customer service hub right so you can access again all of those settings directly in here 
Now, if I go back here, if I actually, I want to go back here to my overview, or actually I want to go to knowledge. And once I click on knowledge, I will go here to record types. And this is what I was mentioning earlier that we can now also use this to configure that knowledge search control in that side pane for other tables. So all you have to do here is you just click add. Let's say we're going to add account and look at that. I can turn on automatic search and then I can see what, what are the search results here. Let's say we're using account name. And then I have some actions here. If I can link or unlink an article, copy the URL, yes or no. And then if I want to send that article to somebody here, right? Link article and send article content. I need to select my default email recipient. So I just, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and close. And you can see this entity is now being enabled for knowledge management. And now we have account in this list as well. So now if I go back to customer service workspace or omnichannel, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to open up my customer here. And now we have that knowledge search enabled here in that side pane. So that's what that is. All right, so now I'm going to go back here to Customer Service Hub. There we go. And I'm going to show you the analytics for knowledge articles and search terms. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And here is the knowledge analytics. And what I was talking about is the article insights, right? You can see here this tab is currently in preview, but this is that new report that we're going to be able to review in regards to article insights, right? You can see here a search count, an average search ranking, an engagement rate, etc. We also see the top 20 search terms and some search terms with no results as well. So maybe we need to create some articles for that, etc. And here's some search volume by application and then the search volume by search type as well. So this is pretty nice, right? Really giving us some insights into the articles that are in the application and also is allowing us to identify uh, maybe some of the articles that are currently not there that we might need to create some articles for. And then lastly, I'm going to go back here to customer service workspace to show you how we have the ability now to search using these search terms. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to load real quick. All right, so I'm going to open up any case here. And this is what I am talking about. So this is where these agents can now put in these phrases and these search terms. So I'm going to go ahead and search. And you can see now that I also have the ability to see the number of the article. Oops, and it actually allows me to go there as well. And then you also see that it shows me that more matches are found. I can see the keywords here. It's actually looking at my invoice amount keyword, my amount keyword, and the word uh, incorrect here from that keyword as well. So really giving me some more information here directly inside of my knowledge search. Now let's take a look at some of the updates and enhancements for Dynamics 365 field service. And 
these are updates that are related to the Dynamics 365 field service mobile app. So the first one is where Microsoft is going to clean up the app a little bit by removing commands that are not used very frequently, like the assistant and then the start task flow commands. The date and time input fields in a mobile app will now use the default controls of the operating system that's installed on the mobile device. And the primary account's phone numbers will now be accessible on the customer tab of the booking. And large devices such as you know, PCs and tablets will have a streamlined agenda view available as part of their booking calendar. So I'm not sure what that last one entails, but I guess we'll just have to wait until this goes GA, which is currently scheduled for April of 2022. And then lastly, the new field service mobile app for Windows 10 has been in preview since October of 2021 and is currently scheduled to go into GA also in April of 2022. And there's going to be some enhancements to the app like offline support and access to the device's camera to take pictures and scan barcodes. And lastly, there's going to be an Outlook style calendar for bookings. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Have a great week, everybody.